2023 to early 20s teens. Teens? Never mind. I've already messed it up. But that's okay. Two early 20 men sit in their shed while they talk about movies on a podcast. When a brutal murder occurs millions of miles away. And this is the story of the... Yeah. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, that's the yeah, movie we watched. I, I the original. I didn't have a I didn't have a plan going into <laughs> this. Um, hello everyone. Welcome to episode twenty something. Twenty four. Twenty three. Twenty four. I think it's twenty four. Twenty four. If we're wrong, we're wrong. We're chilling. Ep- episode twenty four of the Popcorn Podcast, where it's a little bit different. This isn't going to be probably the best audio that we've ever had. Quite frankly, uh, it's going to be a little different. Um, Background is going to get fleshed out. We're in a situation where we can be um, much louder. Much we louder. We can we can pretty much be whatever we want to be in here. Yes. We, we can be whatever we want. No, anyway. <laughs> uh, Junior's last move. Anyway. Wait a minute. Uh, hold up. Um, the background will become cool eventually. Yes, yes. That's no, kind of the plan. Right, right now, we're just channeling our inner family member as... Um, Didn't have any bones. Could, nope. have, could have made some if I would have wanted to do this yeah. podcast solo with this man being no, deceased. But. No bones, but um, pretty much what oh. sparked the conversation today is there is a new Texas Chainsaw Massacre game coming out. If uh, you're a part of like my channel already, like if you're subscribed, you know that I relatively talk about games and then just kind of on the weekends we're like, ah, oh, movies! Um, <laughs> so, a game that you should look forward to a video either having already came out because we're going to be also doing a video over the game itself here yep. soon as well um is an asymmetrical game where three players play as the family members whether it be leatherface um the the bro- like the brother the tracker guy uh the hitchhiker i want to play um, as grandpa to be honest the cook you can't play as grandpa unfortunately why not and then you know it just is what it is <sighs> Sad. And then the other, um, the he other, put it, he put in a lot of work with the sledgehammer. He did. So like, I think he would have been clutch for the game. <laughs> yeah. The other <laughs> final form. The other, the other four players in that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll get into that in the video. The other four players play as the survivors trying to escape. So if that interests you as a concept, look out for that other video on my channel. Um, really interesting. But kind of to get hyped for that i wanted to see the original movie i've seen the remake i've never seen the original the 1974 film that this is based on i probably have once like i said but probably when i was a young wee lad so i literally yeah. remembered absolutely nothing from this movie okay. so i was basically going in blind as well that's fair so um, and man what a movie you, i you know i think this movie is very interesting i think there's um there's stuff that's I mean, we'll get into the kind of nitty gritty of our individual thoughts, but like as an overall thought going in, I didn't, I, I knew what to expect plot wise, in a way, kind of. I, I didn't really remember either. But other face kills people. Right. There's your plot. Hillbillies but, galore. But if you really think about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you think about Leatherface. You don't think so much yeah. about the other, the other well, family. Members. Doesn't the other family members change like every single movie? See that I don't remember. I, um, I don't think they're always the same. I don't, I don't know too much about well, we that. we watched the newest one, and the only character that returned was Leatherface. Right. Well, he kind of gets immortalized in a way. Like, I, I think that's... Because everyone thinks it's just Leatherface, Dude, I think that's why it's just Leatherface. That new movie. one was awful, and I don't care what you say, that new one was trash. Hey, I'm not saying that movie was good. I thought it was just an entertaining <sighs> wow. one watch. You'd already seen it, right? Mm-hmm. So, of course, you, you've watched it. You've worn yourself down. If I watched it again, I'd think this is ass. Especially given just seeing the original. Oh, the original that much better to you? Actually, no. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> um, it was, it all, was a movie. All that to say this. No, this movie isn't that good either. All right. Um, well, you know, I'm a horror fanatic. He's a fucking crackhead is what he is. Leatherface is the worst slasher. I'm going to come out and say it. Put me on a meat hook all you want. But my boy, my boy Ghostface coming in saving my ass. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. That's fair. Um, Listen. I'll be honest with you. I'm. Leatherface is just a normal dude, too, in the, at the end scheme of things. So, dude just wears people's faces. Which, they didn't even dive into the lore of that in this movie. 
I mean, you obviously get the synopsis of like, that's fucking weird, and that, is that people's human skin on his face? Well, but they never really actually like talk about it. Are we getting rain right now? Oh, we're getting rain. Rain, gonna on, lo- baby. We're gonna love this podcast. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the audio is gonna be <laughs> Chad here. Dude, it, it's uh, it's like the the summer vibes uh, playlist. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Um, but no, what I wanted to say was that I love that Leatherface isn't explained in this movie. Yeah. I do love that. And, and honestly, to me, honestly, Ghostface is more personal, but scarier. I, I'd rather see Ghostface than Leatherface. Oh, yeah. You know but, what I mean? Yeah, Ghostface takes Leatherface any day as far as a better slasher, in my opinion. I, I did like, at least it was a twist, was seeing Leatherface basically be a little bit and not be the leader of the thing. Because you, you think of Leatherface and you think, oh, right. he's the big bad main character and he's the the main villain. Right. But it's the cook. The cook's out here like whipping him like, yeah, yeah. Did you, you let him get away? Right. Oh, what'd you do to the goddamn door? <laughs> you goddamn fool. Oh, it's yeah. so good. Actually, that's a good place to start, I think. Because um, I think it's one of the more interesting aspects of this movie, the family dynamic. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <laughs> we've got the hitchhiker, uh, who I assume is the brother. Uh, we've got Leatherface. Everybody knows him. He's yeah. a big doof. He, it seems like he's a simpleton, yeah. but like brute strength, like... Yeah, he's... there's a word I want to say. I'm not going to say it. He's got that strength. Anyway, <laughs> um, okay. So, so there's that, and then the cook is that the father? Is that a, I, if, that's if a, I know probably maybe I don't know, man. It doesn't seem like it. By the way, they talked at the end. Yeah, I said. Oh, they all call the guy in the chair they, grandpa. They, they do call him grandpa. Yeah. So I don't know, dude. But then again, when I'm talking to my daughter and I'm talking about my dad, I, I still so, say, yeah, hey, they, look, go to, yeah. go to Papa. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I said, Lydia, go feed Papa. Who knows, dude? Yeah. So, with that being said, I really enjoy the family dynamic. We actually get to see uh, the grandpa and grandma. Grandma's too far gone. Her face is already, well, that's who Leatherface seems to be wearing. How the f freaking grandpa's living? I'll never know. Dude looks 150. Dude, he was dead. All right, and then, he was moving. He sucked a little blood, and he goes, "Hmm, man, then I he, understand." Then he had enough willpower to just warhammer this. <laughs> <laughs> he he knew he knew dude. he he was doing a pretty good job. All right, drops. let's let's be real. He, drops, drops. He got one good hit in. And then the fucking traveler's like, let me do it! Yeah. Let me do it! Yeah. And then she, he You'd like, be really good in that movie. Thank you. Yeah. I would be I would be a good him. <laughs> I fucking look like him anyway. Let's fucking go. I can start cutting my if hand. You, if you styled your hair the right way, I think it's long enough. That's the one. You'd have to dye it again. Uh, like, no, not again. Not again. Yes, again. It's going to make my hair completely black next time I try to get it as normal. That's all right. But, um... What a character. The character was weird. They were all weird. Okay, but, like, watch Franklin. Wheelchair Man? Wheelchair Man. Franklin. Why isn't he playable in the game? Yeah, for steal, real. To steal your joke from earlier. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. Why are you taking my joke for the podcast? You think you're better than me? I'm funnier now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Franklin literally made me want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah, but like, all right. Imagine being Franklin, dude. Uh, my favorite part is when they're like, "Oh, you're explore. basically just telling me." Imagine being handicapped. <laughs> imagine being paraplegic. You no, know what I mean, imagine being a fucking this, idiot. Imagine being this guy, right? He's like, "A well, grandpa used to own this place or work here or something." Yeah, they get to the house and like they're all like exploring and having a grand time upstairs. You just see him down there, just like, <laughs> like repeating all I the know. his faces. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. what do they scream that bugged you? What was the dude's name that they were looking for? Jerry? Jerry, yeah. <laughs> I okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll get we'll we'll get into this little minor criticism. It must be a different sign of the times, you know, the seventies, you know. So when they're yelling for Jerry, um what's his name? What? Franklin? Franklin. Yeah, Franklin. Franklin says Jerry, but 
I believe the emphasis on the E rather than the Y is misplaced. Dude, he was triggered. I believe it should be Jerry. You know what I mean? Maybe that's just me. Look back at the movie. It's really weird. But I know I'm shortening it, but he really was putting a long em- emphasis yeah. on that E. Uh, he went with that E for days. Right. So, okay. So we've gotten our kind of you know <laughs> petty complaints and you know stuff like that out of the way. So I actually wanted to consult my notes. Oh, he's got notes, boys. Uh, under TCM and girls. for Texas Chainsaw. No, I look at my analytics. It's all boys. Oh, What's that's up? fair. What's up, guys? You know what I mean? Okay. Why would any lady want you? Oh, uh, <laughs> all right, I understand. So anyway, um, oh god. First thing I I wrote about this movie, and this is pretty apparent right off the bat. This movie is colorful. I actually do think that is one of the. You think early seventies? That's actually a pretty big deal. This yeah. movie was very yeah, colorful. Was. I mean, another thing I want to give like, and most good, of it takes place during the day. Yeah, that's really I, cool. What I will give another thing for is it was hit or miss, but mostly it was a hit. I did like the creative shots for the time. There was a they lot had of the, interesting um, shots. They had the gratuitous ass shots that started coming in about halfway through the movie. Right when I the see. guys started getting killed off, it was just like, let's follow the girl now. And when then the, like, when, the yeah. shot's like three when, feet yeah, lower. When the girl like is walking towards the house, I've seen that gif so many times really? on Twitter. Yeah, people post about that all the time. <laughs> it, it ain't one to write home about. Dang. 70s, though, I guess. Sorry. I mean, it's okay. You, um, you're mid, I guess. Damn it, Sally. Next thing I wanted to bring up. Credits in the beginning. We talked about that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, the credits in the beginning. This isn't, a, the this isn't about just this movie. There's plenty of movies that do this, but think about movies today. Yeah, they're always at the movies end. Movies that, they're, they don't leave any time for credits in the opening. Actually, a modern example I can think of, uh, the Black Widow movie that came out a few years ago. That, yeah, and it had a really cool, it was actually like, if, if you say that movie's mid, I'll say whatever, that's fine. Um, mid. But that scene was great because it was a uh, cover of um, uh, "Smells Like Teen Spirit." It was like some girl singing it, gotcha. and like it, like it played like so much of like background stuff for the character. It was just really cool. So if you want a really good scene that's like for credits, that's flashing credits while all this cool stuff's going on, really good. Really like the cover of the song. Anyway, back to uh, the nineteen seventies. Um, Anyway, did you have anything else to say about the credits before I continue? I'm sorry. No, nah, I just randomly said that when we were watching because I thought it was funny. I'm like, man, think about like old movies and they all have the credits in the beginning. Yes. I mean, yeah. obviously at the end there's credits too, but they always try to get like the main creators, directors, yeah, producers yeah. in the beginning. Like, hey, we did this. Right. This is possible. It's actually of. interesting. The director also had a producer role in this movie, which, I mean, I guess that's fine. I mean, pretty much that's pretty on par, but... He was, like, the producer. Give it to me to notice the credits in the beginning and make a comment about it, but not read a single one of them. Fair enough. I didn't literally look at all of them. Well, that's the only, one, of I, them, that's the only one I paid attention to. But, yeah, I, I don't know. It was just a thought, because you think of movies nowadays, and it's always at the end, and they're always broken down by two different types. If there's, like, an uh, end credit scene, mm-hmm. they always have, like, the first short credits, and then they do the end credit scene, and then yeah. they go to the long yeah. credits. That's usually how they're branched and worked out by now. Right. But... I don't know. It's just a thought because back then, yeah. Another thing that I didn't think of, and I like, I didn't have written down for the credits is that's actually it uses that time well, like while these credits are going on. To it, it plays really weird visual, like red imagery, obviously getting us toned up for the gore of the movie. But then, yes, also it's um, using like the radio chatter of like. You know, two graves were dug up and blah blah blah. Yeah, the county. and, and like, they it, use that throughout the movie a few times. Yes, the radio. Yeah, they do. They yeah. do, they use it at another point too, and they basically do this to kind of set up like, okay, what should we expect? Why are these? It actually sets up why they're going there because one of the reasons they're going there is because they want to check on the grave to make sure their guy didn't get dug up. That's mm-hmm. the first thing they do, and then after that, they go and try to check out the house that was left or whatever. So that was cool. You know, very nice little setup, all things considered. Uh, I like I liked the way it was presented, if nothing else. I mean, it's kind of a little, you know, like, why would you really want to go? It's just Grandpa. But anyway, <laughs> next note that I had, astrology bad. That's, yeah. all I, that's all I have. There's this girl reading her horoscopes, her daily horoscopes. They got a book. It's like the Farmer's Almanac, but for, like, girls. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting stuff if you're on a first date and you're talking to somebody. Um, 
Personally, I'm a Scorpio, so I like my secretiveness. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know anything about him. I just know I'm a Leo. You're a Leo. That's all I know. Leo for liar. You know Yo. what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so astrology, very, actually kind of interesting stuff, but the thing is, it's just so uh, bold. Like, yeah, like they're just broad, bold, yeah. That, like, it could fit anyone. Like It's like, you're going to get good news and then bad news. And then good news again. It's like or it's like opening a fortune cookie. Oh, it's just gonna be a broad statement that you're like, yeah. whoa, and then like, like, oh man, your day's about to be better, and then you're gonna go home yeah. and then realize that like, weirdly enough, my fortune cookies just always have little numbers on them. It says, "Want another fortune? Go to fortune.com." Read the other side. Duh. There's another side. Oh my god, he's... nah, I'm leaving. Hi, my name is Franklin. <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> that dude, that dude was a character. He dude. was a character. Oh, um, uh, give me the flashlight. No, I'm going to hold on to it, but I'm going to leave and go find him. No, we need to stay here. So, so with that being said, let's, uh, let's go right to one of my, my last notes that I have. And it's just in all caps acting. <laughs> that is, that is my, I, I didn't leave if it was good or bad. And with that being said, these actors, Franklin, I mean, he was giving it his all. Yeah. Okay. All. As, Yikes. as all the other characters, like I feel like there wasn't enough to do, you know, for any of them. I didn't like any of the characters in this movie. No. Franklin was fun to hate. How's yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. He was he was fun to hate, and then um, any time that the family were on screen was at least entertaining. But whenever they weren't on screen, it wasn't like they were scary. I wasn't like, oh, were they gonna come? Yeah. They're gonna, they gonna go. Out? Oh no. They... Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't so, like there wasn't any tension there with the yeah. family. I, I I actually think the hitchhiker was like pretty like demented acting. I thought that was pretty good. Job. Yeah, he he did a good job at acting the it was weird hitchhiker. Yeah, 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 but he he played his part very well. Dude, he he was going all in with that acting. But I feel like he got an Oscar. Should have. Should have. But real talk, the main cast, like the survivors, characters, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Yikes. I didn't like any of them. Literally not not even the final girl um, Sally here. Oh my gosh, that was brutal. Like spoilers for <laughs> the twenty twenty two. I know or twenty twenty one. I know what you're gonna say. Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. The final girl of this movie comes back. Sally, right? Yep, Sally. Sally comes back, and they kind of do like a Lori Strode. With yeah, that's her. what they were doing. Yeah, they wanted to set it up like, and actually, interestingly enough, I don't know if they marketed this movie. At all. <laughs> I, oh, God, no. I have no idea. I hope they didn't. But in such a way that they're like, oh, she's back and she's going to take out Leatherface for good. But really neat subversion of expectations happens. She does not. <laughs> okay, but like after watching the first movie here, did anyone actually think she was going to come back and do anything? I get, yeah, no. Like I said. What does she do in this movie? She doesn't fight back at all. She does no. nothing. She literally gets saved by truck drivers. Like, she, cool. Yeah. No. Forget your Laurie Strode, Sydney Prescott. Yeah. This is no. the girl you need to put at the top of your tier. And I guarantee there's someone out there right now. And I need to talk to you. It's because she didn't here. wear a bra. Come here. Come here. I don't care. You're so, you can find so many other girl characters that aren't wearing a bra just, in horror just movies. Just look for an actress within the All 1960s of... to the 1990s. In horror movies. It doesn't have to be I horror mean, movies. Go watch Friends. I'm sorry. Have you ever seen Friends? I've seen a few episodes. Jennifer Aniston, not once. Bet. Bet. I'm in now, then. <laughs> <laughs> no, all I'm saying is, like, if you think that she's the number one final girl out of all of them, I need to have a word with any of you believers and make you a non-believer. <laughs> That's fair. Because <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't like her, though. Like, in all honesty, I thought she was kind of a weak final girl. I She just never fought back. That's she fair. was either tied up, captured... And then when she did get away, like, she just screamed and screamed and screamed yeah, and screamed. Very much. Um, and screamed. And very much I know what you did last time. <laughs> and then, um, at the end, how does she live? Did just By chance, dude just happened to go. Yeah. Get in. Yeah. Bye. So, and then she's like. <laughs> so we talked about the characters. Duh. Yes. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, uh, scary. Scary, I know. But you, you kind of are touching on it right now, in a sense. What did you like the overall plot of this movie? What how did it do anything for you? No. Profound? Listen, I I love like 
I make fun in front of it the whole time because hillbilly atmosphere. Okay. And it, it is what it is. I mean, it just makes me cringe. Very Outlast 2. Ugh. But at the end of the day, it did what it wanted to do by being the southern hillbilly-esque vibe. But that's what it was trying to do. Yeah. So it did a good job at doing that. And I think that the family dynamic was great. I, I do like all the like family characters. And Leatherface was cool. You see him screw some people up and use his iconic I like, chainsaw i like that like the mask that he wears it has like makeup on it so yeah you, i get the idea that that's supposed to be grandma yeah maybe i'm that's what i'm thinking never was and, told, and he, like but... at first it didn't look like that's what he was wearing but after the first time when like you're at the dinner table and he's got the it seems like he's got the makeup on it like he's done up right yeah uh maybe you I, know that's what i'm yeah thinking. i mean i'm and down with that my, theory my thought is like I, it's it's already escaped me, but like it's very interesting. Like he start, he kind of when he when he whimpers, it's kind of like a, a girly whimper. <laughs> so I'm thinking like there's some kind of messed up in this there. Like I don't know what's going on. Listen, family dynamic great. The characters themselves that we're supposed to follow along into the family dynamic terrible. No, yeah, I, I don't think any of them were good. Like we were saying, it's funny to laugh at Franklin just because. Whack. He was a wacky character. Yeah. He was written that way, I imagine. And, you know, it was fun to laugh at him. And and the story opening premise was fine. I think once I, the guy started going around looking for gas. I thought the car scene dragged on way too long. Though. You think? I felt like they were in the car for like 30 minutes. It really wasn't that long, though. I felt like it, dude. I'm sitting here like, when we get into the family. When we get into the family. No, nah, man. I, I guess I, that's my thought going into it as like, alright, I want to see the other face. So like, as a first time watcher watching this and not knowing anything about Leatherface, yeah, maybe it was fine. But for me, I was ready to see the family. I was like, "Come on, come on, come I mean, on!" I thought it was. I thought the. Um, I thought everything was fine story wise up until they get to their house. You love, the one by one by one. What do you mean? When they get picked off. No, dude. <laughs> no. No, I, I hated the fact that basically up until the very end, they were all just like, "I'm gonna go check out this house." And then they get killed. Great. Good for you. Yeah, there wasn't really much there. The only one that even had remotely anything to do with anything was the girl. The other girl, you mean? But, like, did she just freeze to death then? Uh, she must have. Yeah, she got meat hooked and then that was that. But, yeah, the first guy. The first guy was funny because he was, like, looking in the house and then he just gets bonked with a hammer. Yeah. That guy was getting yeah. the cool death. Um. Which I loved how out of nowhere that was. Yeah, I was gonna say that was a great that, that was, was a the, great scene. That was actually the best of that. Um, so okay, while we're in the house, imagine we're in the family's house right now, and okay. I want to stick with the like the creepy imagery and like the bones, the gore, all that stuff, the chicken in the cage, chicken. the bones. feathers all over, bones, bones. chicken, bones. yes, terrible bones, bones. chicken. <laughs> Terrible scene, great imagery. How's yeah, that? yeah, I, I agree. I think I think what this movie does really well, or like the meet at the the gas station. Yeah, where she's like, like waiting, and that's when she kind of like starts to get a little sus. Yeah, because you find out that the chicken fingers they had, yeah, were not chicken fingers. Yeah, they were probably people fingers. And um, so yeah, I love actually everything about like the visual style, like the movie. It's colorful. And then when it's dark, it's fine, I guess. Uh, but then all of just the gore, the red lights on the, the meat, everything about that, I love it. Mm -hmm. I, I do yeah. love that. Yeah. One thing, uh, interestingly enough, we don't really see the basement of the house, do we? I don't think so. We, I don't think we really... No. We go upstairs, and then we stay on the main floor, I think. I don't think we yeah. ever go into the basement. Well, knowing what I, I know about the game from what i played a big emphasis is in like the basement dwelling area and like i was really surprised not to see that in this movie so with that being said i mean unless i missed something but no, I, don't, no, no. I don't think so uh, the way the game portrays it the big metal door that he closes when he like kills the first guy oh leads to should lead to the basement to I don't yes. think it did because when he took the girl in there, it was like a right. room. Well, I wonder if in a sequel or something that is something that happens. furthered, you know, yeah. and they're just taking the liberties of, well, we know what's there. Yeah, yeah. So Even though we're not well basing in. the characters off of the other movies, yeah. we know what's going to be down there. So, maybe. Um, again, check out that video. We're going to have that as well. Um, so, acting. 
Not that good. No. Characters, iffy. I love the emphasis on the gore. It's, it's, what did you think of the practical effects in the few scenes there were? What do you mean? Like the like the blood on the head and then like the, the chainsaw cutting Leatherface's leg. It was all right. I mean, for 70s, it was definitely all I right. thought it looked yeah. great. For yeah. se- that's what I'm thinking. For 70s? Yeah, for 70s. You have to imagine great, yeah. this is the first horror movie in a not even that good of a franchise overall. You have to imagine the budget, probably pretty was, low. Yeah, it was definitely and a And a lot of, um, and like the props, like the bones. Obviously, the human bones weren't real, hopefully. You think any of the animal bones were real back then? Do you think Do you think PETA was up the movie studio's asses back then? There's wouldn't bones. even surprise me if they were real. That's what I'm saying. Like it wouldn't just, even just to have that aesthetic. I know. Rain. I hope this stays in after the edit. That's what I hope. That's not even that bad. Not even that much more. Okay. Well. Um, so, I do have one final note for you, and I don't even need to look at my phone to say it. Go you, for it, bro. Ready? Shoot it. Shoot it Okay, at me. so the last thing I really want to talk about, it's on par with this right now. Um, sound. Sound mixing and the sound of the movie. I feel like it just falls to the wayside. Where visually, I think this movie is very distinct and very uh, highfalutin. Okay. I, I think it does really well. Sound design, like, okay, the scene at the cemetery at the beginning... There's, like, four people talking, and they're not layered at all, like, distance from the camera or anything. They're just all talking. Yeah. And it's, like, so hard to parse what's going on, and I didn't like that. Same happens when everybody shows up at the house. They're all talking. They're all, like, laughing. <laughs> so bad. And then, like, yeah, the chainsaw. That, that one especially, though, the house where they're all in there, and then, like, yes. again, Franklin's trying to get in, and you hear him yeah. talking. I was, like, so confused. I was like, who's talking? Like, yeah. I, I, for a second, I thought it was, like, in the house. Yeah. Like, our house. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. just like, huh? When, okay. like, I'm like, what's going on? I didn't actually even, and then I'm like, oh, it's the movie. And then I'm like, who's talking or laughing or giggling in the movie? Yeah. And then you It's, got, like, upstairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, and then you've got, um, like, the scene with Franklin and then where he dies. He's like, I hear something. And then the, the chainsaw is just on. Like, that's not how that works. Yeah, you don't even hear the revving or, like, no, you hear, like, that. it slowly coming in. Or, like, even if it wasn't on up until that point, if he just heard footsteps, you still have to pull the yeah, chainsaw. Yeah, you have to rev it up, yeah. Yeah, he just goes, like, here's something. <laughs> yeah, no, that didn't that didn't happen. <laughs> so. Oh, my God. I, then she, Sally just sits there and screams for ten minutes. Yeah, she's oh. like, I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, no, not the best moment. Oh my god, she's clutch. Yeah, she's pretty good final girl. Yeah, honestly. So, is there anything else you want all to really I, hit All on? I want to say before final verdicts, because this was a short movie, we're making this a short cast. Yes, and absolutely. it deserves the shortness, because honestly, I don't have many positives other than probably the color scheme of it yeah. all. And like, yeah. the atmosphere was cool. Like, I, they definitely did a good job on trying to do the... Like, it wasn't scary. It wasn't like, no. No, tenseful. No, no, no. But they did set up the southern, like, messed up, kind of gross, te- grotesque. Like, they got that right. Yeah, yeah. And, absolutely. Yeah, props to that. That was a good thing to see, too. And that's what I was hoping to see. So, great vibes there. But the ending is the biggest sour taste for me of all time. You because, think? like, I'm curious how this thing is going to end. Because I don't remember how this movie ends. I don't remember this movie at all, even though I probably watched it once. Yeah. So, going into the movie... And seeing the end part where this random semi comes in, kills the hitchhiker by running him over. Dude said, I don't care. He gets out of the car. He's like, hey, what's going on? He and just keeps going. Chainsaw guy's coming up and he's like, oh gosh. And then him and Sally get in, yeah. get in the trailer truck. Trailer whatever, truck. Whatever. And then, like, Leatherface is trying to chainsaw like in, but he can't do it. Like, yeah. he, he literally couldn't chainsaw through. Yeah. So why didn't the guy just start the truck and leave? And go. Keep going? Didn't happen. What happened is Sally went out the passenger side. The driver grabs a wrench. Yeah. He gets out of the passenger side. Then gets chased by the other face around. Throws that. Bonks him, right? Yeah. And then? I don't know what happened. I don't know if I missed him dying or what ha- Dude, that trucker driver? Gone. I don't know where he went. He's just gone. And then another truck just drives on in a regular truck. And then she just gets... See, 
I was changing a diaper when this happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. was like, oh wow, the guy, this, the second, like her boyfriend survived. He, Jerry, he's like, he's alive. No, he's not. No, it's just some random guy. He just pulls over. He's like, yeah. He whips back around. He's like, get in, basically. Then she struggles to get in the back of the truck. Get in, basically. And then she starts laughing. <laughs> and <then> she's like, <laughs> that's it. That's terrifying. That's it. That's it. Literally it. That is the end of the movie. Yeah. I'm like, oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, I'm ready for final verdict. Yeah, you ready. go first because I did the last one. I, wow, what a movie. I And I know this is a cult classic. So, you know, people are going to look at this and be like, y'all suck. I get it. You know, you probably hate us for not liking this movie super well. No, um, but at the end of the day, I think there's some good things in here. Yeah. But overall, there's a lot of not go- so good things in here. And that ending, sour taste in my mouth, man. Interestingly enough, I think what this movie does best is visuals. Yeah. Which, in a horror movie... Important. In the 70s, that has to be a really low budget. I have to look to see what it is. And the fact that it's gotten so much, um, you know, it, it has so much as far as that is really great. Uh, I think the color scheme uh, being set during the day is really good. I um, I like the I like the gore. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, go. it looks good. It's serviceable. Yeah, that's um, all right. The props, uh, the um, effects... Everything I want to say there. When it comes to that stuff, though, it's like, it's the 70s, so it's so, kind of like... Right. You yeah. know, you no. can't go in thinking and expecting 2020 some gore right. and effects. Certain cinematic shots even are pretty good. Um, I would have loved to see more as far as that's concerned. Uh, but again, that's probably just, hey, we only got so much. It's an hour and 23 movie. So, you know, that's it. And I, I like that, but that's where a lot of it ends. The sound, the mixing... Everything like that, not good. Uh, the only character interesting enough to really watch is Franklin, and I was just really excited for him to die. <laughs> yeah. Um, creatively, I feel like this movie lost its way really quickly on, and it was really pacingly came down to one guy dying right after the other, and I didn't really like that. The last act where she's kind of a, Sally's kind of alone with the family. Uh, doesn't really do it for me either, um, though it was probably the most interesting after the setup of the movie. And the ending was atrocious. Everything about that was atrocious. And quite frankly, I don't know how this movie got a sequel, but I'm glad it did. And I'm actually kind of curious to watch the remake to see how that's done now. You know, having not really remembering any of it. Yeah, I, uh, I don't remember anything from so it either. I'm curious to see that. I guarantee it's better. I know that, like, cult classics people will hate it and yeah. say it's bad, but I right. guarantee you that reboot is better. That's fair. There's I, no way it's not. I, like... <laughs> I completely respect it. No, so, uh, with that being said, uh, this movie's a 4.5. 4. 4.5. 4. Yep. That's, uh, that's your... I think 4 I'm is, cool like... that. So, 4 is, like, a, uh, you know, to me... Four is the minimum I'll give for a movie that I at least enjoyed watching through. Uh, but you only have to earn your points from there to get as close to 10 as possible. Yeah. So the extra point five comes in. I was surprised by how like beautiful this style of movie can be. In the sense of like the color, uh, the grading of some of the shots. Uh, but then every other aspect of the movie betrays that. So that's it. I would love to have even given it a five based off of visuals alone but i feel like every other bit like a scene's ruined by it looks good but then it just sounds like shit so <laughs> yeah that's it 4.5 for me and that's just where i'm gonna be so what about you sir honestly i agree with mostly everything you said i think this movie going into it i was curious it's an old movie so you know we've watched our fair share of old movies recently for this cast even yes like evil dead and stuff. i love like, that honestly that's my favorite part about this we get to see these movies that yeah we haven't and or haven't for a while like evil dead i feel you were really harsh on i was still not the nicest to but I, for evil dead i understood where it came from and i had fun with evil dead evil dead 2 was fantastic but the first one you know it was a low budget you know, for what it was, it was still fun, but I, I rated it lower, but not super low. Yeah. I And looking back compared to this movie, oh, dude, Evil Dead's clutch. 
I think Evil Dead is fantastic compared to this movie. No, I... I I'm just saying. First Evil Dead loses... No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No. Evil Dead is at least funny. The first one at least had some interesting. It's, it's humor. really close, you know. Yeah, honestly, yeah. like I feel like it's depending on the day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The, because I, I personally think the Evil, best part about Evil Dead is Ash and Ash. Uh, yeah, Ash, Ash is, in the yeah, first movie. Yeah, the first movie, Ash is lame. All right, I'm just saying, like at least I thought the concept of. I'm not gonna get into Evil Dead. Do all right. Watch but our Evil just, Dead podcast. You know, just to correlate two super old movies. I, it's interesting to look at the two because I think Ash was better as far as a story wise goes and as far as plot and everything. Yeah. But I do think that this movie had better color, had better shots. Um, there are shots that are very curious that make me go, why are we doing this? Why are we shooting it like this? Yeah. I mean, listen, I'm all down for the booty shots. But <laughs> I don't need to see a chicken zoomed in four times in a row. That was weird to That's me. That's a cock shot. <laughs> he's a funny guy just like franklin um i think that <laughs> i think the ending is the biggest downfall for this movie for me i i'm sorry that ending was terrible i th that and the fact that the characters as a whole i don't remember any of the names besides franklin and sally that's it the other cast i don't jerry remember. jerry yeah just because just because they yelled his name though yeah. Not because the character was relevant, you know? Yeah, the first two died. They were cannon fodder. Yeah, like... Jerry honestly was, too. Yeah. I, I just thought that all the characters were basically irrelevant, besides Sally, and I get... Yeah, Frank was even irrelevant. Sally's the only one that's relevant, and that's just to be the final girl. Right. I think at the end of the day, none of the characters should have survived that incident. Even Sally. Yeah, no, I agree. And they did a really good job at setting up the family. The family dynamic was really cool. Um, I like the Hitchhiker being tied back into the family. Hitchhiker was fantastic. Best part of the family, in my opinion. And then seeing Leatherface get some classic kills. Cool. He used his chainsaw. That's what I'm I would have loved for. to actually seen better shots with the chainsaw. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, so that is one thing I would say. I think the kills could have helped bring this movie out, but I didn't think... I thought the coolest part was the meat hook. I thought the coolest part was just... Out of nowhere, that man just got RKO'd by a hammer. Yeah, that's That fair. was my favorite kill. That's fair. And you, you see him, like, twitching. Yeah. That was cool. And I was in for it. At that moment, I kind of, like, sat up and like, all right, we're getting real. Let's get let's get but, it, yeah. But it never... They just didn't have enough of a cast to really expand out. Yeah. There should have been more. And the reboot, I know I watched before, but I don't remember a whole lot about it. But if I remember correctly... There is a scene where, like, they're at the family dinner table or something. Okay. Like, kind of like how this one did with Sally. Okay. But it wasn't just the final girl. There was, like, two others there. Okay. And you see, like, the family feeding the one girl, like, body parts and stuff. And, like, you see them in all interacting with the three characters that are at the table. Like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure... I could be wrong. I could just be stupid. But I yes. think... Yeah. I think I remember there being a scene like that where, like, you're seeing a lot of characters interact with the family. Rather than this movie, where one by one by one by one, they just get tapped out, tapped out, tapped yeah. out, and they don't interact with anything. Yeah. The, the closest you get besides Sally is the other girl, where she just runs up the stairs. You see the grandpa, she runs back down the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. I, that ending, man. <laughs> Yikes. I, I'm more lenient on Aww. movies, though. I am more lenient, and I like, and it's a seventies movie. You know, Don't it's even. a cult classic for How a reason. How are you more listen sh aggressive on this movie than me? And you're gonna give it a listen. higher score. You're gonna give it a higher score, and you were even meaner to it than I was. Listen, I think that Leatherface. I have to leave. Is definitely worthy of being on the slasher list, but with watching this movie, it reinforced he is still my least favorite slasher. At this point, still, he is my least favorite, and I. I think he always will be, but I'm sure that the reboot is probably better. We'll give it. A, maybe we'll give it a shot. That's a bold statement to make. I I just I don't like this I'm movie. I'm sure the reboot's better. It has to be. I don't like this movie. <laughs> Listen, I'm giving. I'm matching you. Four point five. Wow. I I don't like this movie. A rare. Um. A you, rare dub. I was gonna get into like usually I'm really lenient and I rate movies higher than you and yeah, you yeah. know I just I couldn't get into this movie and yeah. honestly if it had a better ending I think it would have probably been a five maybe even a six for me but because the the shots the colors and 
the kills were okay, but the shots and the colors were really good. I liked them. And yeah, I like the, the dynamic of the family, but the character's lame. That ending hurt so bad for me. That's that's, that's where it ends for me, that, that ending. <laughs> I respect that. Well, everyone, we're going to get rained out. If this comes through on the recording, I'm still, I'm still uploading it. I don't even care. But hopefully with um, noise reduction, we'll be able to take care of most of that. Yeah. Uh, metal roof, um, it just is what it is. Things will be better. Things will not always be like this. Thank you for hey, watching. Hey, our audio is just matching the, the movie. Uh, our audio is probably better than the movie. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and uh, goodbye.